this video, I'm going to look back at year 2020 and look at the boats I built. I will go through each boat and talk about the good and the bad and what I have learned in making all these boats. It is a productive year for me. I have uh, finished a Gen 9, Gen 9 Plus, Gen 10, Gen 11, which I've spent a lot of time on it. Uh, I did come across some major technical issues, but I have, I believe I can solve them. And in the coming year, I'm going to finish that one. Then I work on Gen 12. Gen 12 is a very easy boat to build. I skip the number of Gen 13. Gen 14 is sponsored by a magazine. I modified the Gen 12 so that we can build Gen 14 with 4mm thick, 4 feet by 8 feet core plus. We have Nathaniel, a very talented person with boat building experience to build and test this boat. He even come up with a very user friendly method to fuse the core plus. With care, I believe this kayak will last for a few years. The DIY guide I co-authored will be published in January edition of the magazine. I will release more videos to supplement that design guide. Please stay tuned. Before 2020, my design goals were focused on the cost, stability, quick to assemble, and easy to build. I met all my design goals with the Gen 7. The rectangular stern is a major structural support, and there's no need for another PVC cross beam as in my Gen 9 and 10 bolts. The stern works well for mounting a trolling motor. However, it's not an efficient design for a kayak. And in 2020 this year, the added focus is to enhance the efficiency of the kayak. As you can see, when the kayak being pushed through the water. The water in the front is splitting apart, and the force created by the displaced water can be illustrated with X and Y components. The effect of this force is similar to as if I squeeze at the bow, which created a resultant force, and pushes the boat backward. I have to pedal hard and use a lot of energy to overcome such resistive force and move the boat forward. As the water flows through the middle part of the boat, there's mainly frictional force between the water and the hull, which is relatively small. When the displaced water moves past the middle part of the boat and pushes against the stern, looks like as what I'm doing here, I squeeze the stern, and this caused the boat to move forward. With a streamlined stern, a high percentage of the energy exerted earlier is recovered. But with a square stern, there's mainly turbulence and not much energy being recovered. Therefore, the boat starts slowly. Even though I keep on pedaling it, it doesn't accelerate much. Now, compared with my Gen 10, with tapered and more streamlined stern, at the third or fourth stroke, the bow beam keep on accelerating. I really like my Gen 12 design. It is simple and easy to build, and it is as efficient as my Gen 9 Plus or Gen 10. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how I learned from my early design and come up with the Gen 12 design. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And give me a thumbs up if you like the material. Thanks for your feedback. See you. Bye.